The Bible is the mark of the beast. And we're teaching about Christians and about demons. You can tell the devil from Christians. There's very few of us Christians left on earth. So Jesus wants me to teach this. He told me in 1977, he said, the sons of God will be manifested. Now I'm a son of God, and Pumpkin's a daughter of God. And we're manifesting. Now who controls us? Jesus Christ, by the Holy Spirit. Do we have a church that controls us? No. Do we send in times? No. Is, do we go into all the world because the Bible says so? No, we're not, we're not controlled by the Bible. We don't have allegiance to nobody but God. You can question a person. When Paul was hunting Christian, today, if it, see what Satan has done. He's played the biggest trick. He made everybody a Christian until nobody's a Christian. That's right. He mixed you all in with sinners. When um, you're of your father, the devil, when you're in the flesh and you're not born of the Spirit. So he mixed everybody in and made us all have to be in the flesh. Today we're going to show you a deep truth. If you got your God in your hand, you belong to Constantine and Queen James. You're a devil. Now You're pay close the attention. Devil. <laughs> pay close attention as we teach this. This is a deep truth. But the sons of God are coming forth now. A lot of little children are telling me they've been touched by God. Jesus is doing things. His angels are on the move. I've seen the lights. And he's touching people. And he's baptizing them in the Holy Ghost and sealing them up by the Holy Ghost. He's getting us ready for that great day. And all you people as Bible worshipers are going to be marked. You're going to be put, the mark of Cain is put upon you, and you're going to be destroyed. And when you eat this little book, you have to digest it. It becomes part of you. We eat the flesh and drink the blood of Jesus Christ, and he's part of us. We love him. He's a king, and he's coming for us. And if you have the mark of Satan upon you, you're going to be left, and you won't be in the first resurrection. And what we mean when we say you eat this little book, that means you have faith in it, you trust in it, you think it's the word of God. Reading it is history. If it has no authority, that's not the same. All right, now, tell me how you believe. you. How many of these, say these people has went through Bible college, and they got Dr. Divinity degrees, how many of them are we going to win? Zero. We're not going to win many of you Bible worshipers, because you, get, you eat this. you got it down in you for years, hundreds of years. And I've been, I've been preaching this 45 years, and there's a lot of people know that this is not the Word of God. So if you eat this... You're bound for the bottomless pit. All right, now notice Because you're this. breaking the covenant. Now notice this. Have you ever noticed anything in deep truths? And I can tell you deep truths. And this brother told the same thing I do. Watch this and listen to this deep, 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 deep truth. 2 Corinthians 4.10 Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Did, did he say that the life of Jesus would be made manifest in a book? No. Where did he say it would be made manifest? In us. Can't you feel the Holy Ghost? Yeah. The Holy Ghost bears witness that. If you can't manifest the Son of God in your body, then you're a devil. Uh -huh. If you have to carry him in your hand, you've taken the mark of the devil. The New Covenant is written by the Spirit of God. It is not written with ink. So you bunch of devils better get your hat. This oh, is Jesus is coming. God is not, and you can't read this and get it in you and think it's God. You can get it in you, this in you, but that's not the Word of God in you. That's not the Spirit of God. Now, as I'm standing here today, I feel the Holy Ghost going over me like electricity. He wants you to know that He's got to be in your body. In your body. In I your feel soul. God right now telling me that. He wants to be in your temple. Your body is the temple. He's not in this. This is dead letter. You can become a, anything you want out of this. Seventh-day Adventist or a Mormon, anything you want out of it. But with the Holy Ghost, what can you become? A son of God. A son of God, a daughter of God, a Christian. Mm -hmm. All right, now pay attention to this that we're teaching. This is deep. This is just a script, and you're emulating with this. You're not a true Christian with it. You've taken the mark of the devil. Now listen to these words. This punk is going to read them real loud. 2 Corinthians 4, 11. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. Where? Where? No! 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 He's manifested in this! Oh, 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 oh. Read that again! Read that last part again! That the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal in flesh. Here, in here! In oh, here! Oh! Oh! Why do they always say... When you go to church, why do they always say, open your Bible? Because they if, don't, they, if Jesus is manifesting here, why don't they say, open your heart? Yeah, because they don't have Christ in here. Get in, in the there. Spirit! They don't have Christ in here. 
All right, so I hope you all getting this point. Now pay close attention. This is deep, and Jesus is in this. Jesus is with us today. He wants you to know this. He wants you to be saved. He wants you to overcome the delusion. He wants you to overcome the mark of the beast and come to him. Close the book and come to Jesus. 2 Corinthians 1.21 Now he which establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us is God. Wait a minute now. It didn't say, they wrote that wrong. What that's supposed to say, now he which established us and with you in Christ and has given us a Bible is God. God gave, yeah, the God of this world. Yeah, you see? Lucifer. So if you've got the anointing, you're of God. Right. If you've got the Bible, you're of the devil. You're a devil. You took the mark of the devil. Okay. You can overcome it. Because you didn't know. That's why he's telling you now. You did it out of ignorance and unbelief. But now you can repent and overcome it and ask Jesus to fill you with the Holy Spirit and then live after the Spirit and not be controlled by the dead letter. 1 John 2.27 But the anointing which ye have received of him abides in you, and ye need not that any man teach you. <gasps> but as the same anointing teaches you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it has taught you, ye shall abide in him. You mean I don't have to study the Bible, the anointing will teach me? No. You, remember, you know the anointing told me this was an idol. Huh? This is a, a mark of the beast. And you better believe this. The anointing will teach you. You know when I'm telling you this that it's the truth. You know it's the truth. And the, reason, intuition. and the reason why we use scripture references is not for authority for us. We know because the Holy Spirit told us. But because you've been taught and led to believe in the scripture so much, we're even showing you in the history that this is the truth. All right, now here's what they've done today. This is what the printing press did. Revelation 10.10, 10, And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. Now don't it sound good in your mouth when you take this and say, God so loved me that he gave his own God? Don't that sound good yeah, in your well, mouth? Look at Joel Osteen there by the millions following him and all of them. He says, man, this is great. God loves me and he gives me all these things. He promised me all these wonderful things. But when they realized God didn't say that to them. No. God didn't say nothing out of this to you. No. And how come you only choose the good things yeah. that's good to you and you don't choose some of the wrath? <laughs> now listen, here's what happened to the church today. They book a... Two billion, three hundred million Bible worshippers that eat this book. And why do they build buildings? Because that's of the devil. God don't dwell in buildings made with hands. He dwells in us. He dwells in our bodies. And this is real. This is serious, people. Don't take this lightly. This is God's word to this generation. You must come out of the old harlot, and you must close the book and come to him in the spirit, or he will not receive you. Revelation 10, 9. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up, and it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey. See, when you eat the little book, it becomes part of you. It's like Adam and Eve eating from the tree of knowledge. This is the tree of knowledge. When you eat this, you eat from the tree of knowledge. You become part of the devil. And one time I was coming through Mississippi, and I seen an old preacher sitting up, up outside of a big old tent, big white tent. And he's sitting out there in the chair reading his Bible outside his tent, getting him a message for that night. And I told him, I come on and stop, and I talked to him a minute. And it's simply God type man. I told him, I said, the Bible's an idol. And he got quiet for a few minutes, real quiet. And then I can still see him, big old brown eyes look up at me out of that chair. And he said, you can't preach that. You can't preach that. He couldn't preach that. I can preach that. They told me you can't do that. But the sons of God are going to be manifested. Jesus' voice is being heard again in the land. And if you're not sealed up by the Holy Ghost and you've got your God in your hand, you're headed for the bottomless pit. You've got to have God in you and be sealed up by the Holy Ghost. He's marking his people and he's telling me, he'll really tell them the sons of God are being manifested. And when you talk to me, I can tell it instantly by your conversation. If your faith is in a book, or in Jesus Christ. you got to have faith in Jesus Christ. 
He's the author and finisher of our faith.